Good everyone, this is my finished uh, charger, multi-coil. Both of the coils are, well that one there is a tri-filer, it's got one trigger winding and two power windings. And that is a slave coil and it just has the two power windings. Um, it's four magnet rotor. Um, the coils are wound for south because the guy stuffed it up, but it doesn't matter because I just put the magnets for south. Um, that's the battery I've been conditioning. At the moment it's at about 12.79. Um, it'll drop down because I've just been mucking around with it. And this one here is a primary battery. It's at about 12.3 at the moment. And they're both 12 volt. That's a 7 amp hour. That's a 12 amp hour. So not much difference. Um, there's my 1 amp meter. Um, this machine draws about between 5 and 600 milliamps depending on the charge of the primary battery. For some reason that makes an effect. Around the back is the circuits. Master circuit, slave circuit. I popped three of these neons the other day, <laughs> um, which was lucky. It popped those and not my transistors. I was running on 24 volts and I just disconnected accidentally. Um, Sitting around, I'll show you how this works. Hopefully. So, I'll just flick my switch. And we'll watch this power gauge as I spin the wheel very gently. We'll go through two shifts. It's first, we'll go up to about six. And drop back down. And it'll rise to full power. Just over 500. Now already, because this is a slightly conditioned battery, it's shooting up in voltage. And it'll go to about 14 and a half volts. Grab my seat. And that's it operating. You can see the wheel spinning. There's about 14 volts there. Each time I do this, that battery lasts longer and longer. I um, I normally draw it with it. It's, it's only a seven amp hour battery, so it's uh, C20 rate of discharge is about 300 milliamps. But I've been a bit naughty and I've been uh, drawing a lot more than that. <laughs> I've been just to get the job done quicker. I've been using a 55 watt high beam headlight out of my car, which I'm not using at the moment and I run that for a minute and a half and that sucks that battery down usually to about 12.2 to 12.3 volts but it ink that, that level ink, that number increases as the battery gets uh, more and more conditioned and it takes longer to get down to a set level as well so that'll go up to quite up to about 14 and a half volts so this battery is going pretty good when I first started, it's only been about 10 cycles, but when I first started doing it, um, this battery would charge fine on a normal charger, but the radiant charger here could only get it up to about, well, not even 12.8. So, and as I've, yeah, so it's only been about 10 cycles, and it's already, this will fully charge this battery now, which is good. Then I'll be conditioning this one. Um, I have found, I've been using over here, I've got a couple of power adapters I've chopped up. 12 volt, uh, 1 amp adapters. I've been using those as my primary, but I find that the machine doesn't run anywhere near as well, for some reason. Maybe someone else can elaborate on that. Um, I haven't had much experience running this with uh, AC-DC power adapters. Um, works fine, it's just, I can't, it doesn't, it just it does some funny things. Um, and because my neons are busted at the moment, and I haven't got a strong enough capacitor to test the spikes, I can't compare the output. Um, I've got a... where did it go? Oh, I can't find it. I have a 400 volt um, capacitor that I've just been testing to see how high the voltage spikes are on the back end, but it seems to have misplaced it at the moment. So that's my charger. Um, unfortunately, I have to uh, give this to my granddad. He's 
going to recondition some bus batteries with it. So I've, uh, in the middle of putting together a, a swap battery swapping box, auto swapper. I've got a mate of mine who's a electrician guy. He's going to get me some timed relays, timing relays, on the sh on the cheap, so to speak, five finger discount from work. So that'll be good. It's always handy. He's a boss, so he can do that. <laughs> I think Adrian knows something. Yeah, so that's that. That's my car battery I got for free from Battery World. It's um, it's not too bad. It's just a little bit sulfated. So uh, once I get a, a couple more equal batteries of this similar size, I'll um, I'll set about when and when I get my charger back, I'll set about fixing these up and conditioning these. Hopefully, I'll get some results. So that's that. Um, yeah, I think it turned out quite well. I'm quite pleased with it. So, all right. Cheers. See you later.